Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. Uh, we are here to discuss our next method to determine the immediate settlements. Uh, this method is mostly applicable to sands but can also be applied to clays. Um, so uh, let's start with the method. Its name is Schemetman method after the name of uh, a scientist. It's a semi empirical approach that means you will be using some of the principles of mathematics and some of the properties obtained from uh, laboratory testing. So it's actually a theory plus model studies for vertical strain in sands below foundations as function of depth. Um, from the elasticity theory, we are all aware that uh, the strain in a volumetric strain in any material is given by the is also is a function of uh, the the pressure, its elastic properties, and some geometrical factor, as you have previously seen in the Timurian Kunkudier method also. So uh, here uh, E V is the vertical strain, delta Q is the net foundation contact pressure, E S is the modulus of elasticity of sand, and I V is a strain influence factor for soil beneath foundation. As I said, that it's a geometrical factor, and we'll shortly see. Um, how it implicates, how it is applied. Now the settlement can be then easily measured by simply using this uh, uh, vertical strain due to compression multiplied with the thickness of the soil layer under concentration that is given by delta Z and their product will give you SE. So that's the main idea. An expression may be given by this way that is delta Q over ES multiplied with IV and that whole thing is multiplied with delta Z. There are certain correction factors that we need to use because when we are going into the deeper depths there are factors such as the overburden pressure come into play and uh, there is actually another correction factor of the time. So when dealing with especially with clays time becomes very important. So the first correction factor is to compensate for the effects of foundation depth or embedment. So if you are working at the deeper depths or your foundation is placed at shallower or deeper depth, there is a difference. And this is where the um, this pressure and this overburden pressure comes into play. So QV0 is your, or sigma V0 you can also say, is your soil overburden pressure at base of the foundation. Similarly, delta uh, second one is the and delta Q I have already explained is the change in uh, pressure contact pressure due to construction of the structure. C2 is a correction factor for creep and other time dependent deformations. As I said. So it is given by this very simple expression of 1 plus 0.2 log of 10 t. t is the time in years. So you want to see it after 10 years, 20 years or 30 years, you put that value. Our expression becomes um, of this sort with these two multi, uh, with the multiplication of these two factors for correction. So if you see that the, if you are dealing with one soil layer, this will be one expression. If you are dealing with number of soil layers, as you recall in the previous example where I showed you a soil layer with three different values of E. So for those values of E's, there's, there are going to be three soil layers to be considered and then their thicknesses. So this expression, this entire expression will be written three times if you have three different values of E's. So what is this IV? It's the strain influence factor um, and uh, it is given for two different types of foundations. The first one is the square foundation and the other one is the uh, strip foundation. So we plot a very simple graph up to 0 0.6 uh, equal uh, gradations of 0 0.6 and uh, then we plot on the other side the depth below the center line of the foundation. So a straight line um, graph is plotted starting from 0 0.1 at the base of the foundation. It reaches to 0 0.5 in front of or at a depth of B by 2, width of the foundation divided by 2. 
and then it goes straight and it ends by at a depth of equal to two times the width of the foundation so this plot is a constant plot you have to plot it every time or you might rem wish to remember this as well another one is plotted this is for the square foundations where l over b is equal to 1 for strip foundations our plot will start from 0 0.2 it will reach to 0 0.5 in front of b that is at depth equal to the base of the foundation and that will go and finish at four times width of the foundation for the strip footing where l over b is greater than 10. You can also determine this peak point by using the simple expression of 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 times delta q over sigma dash vp or you may wish to recall the plotting of these two curves one for the strip foundation the blue one and the green one for the uh, square foundation so this is something that you have to do every time just plot these lines starting from 0 0.1 getting to 0 0.5 exactly in front of b by 2 you don't need to do it on scale but if you do it on scale it's going to give you good results so you can just do it on a plain paper and then it goes straight and becomes 0 at a depth equals to 2 times the width of the foundation similarly it starts from 0 0.2 for the strip footing goes all the way to the maximum value 0 0.5 in front of the B that is uh, width of the foundation the depth equal to the width of the foundation and you go down just to show you that currently when we are doing all this practice sorry our foundation is somewhere here so this is all happening under the foundation and this x axis shows the base of the foundation so this way For square foundation, it is axisymmetric or changing its direction at b by 2. And for plain uh, strain conditions of, uh, in the strip foundations, it is changing condition at b by 10. So this should be clarified now. Now just quickly see the problem, how we solve this problem. A square footing 3 by 3 meter is resting on a sand deposit shown in the figure. And here is the figure you can see that QC values are given so different QC values given it is much better to actually make this many uh, layers of the soil and the unit weight of the soil is given 17.8 kN per cubic meter <coughs> assuming the modulus of elasticity of the sand to be equal to 2.5 times QC QC is given, so just multiply that with 2.5 and you can get E values. Determine the elastic sediment of foundation five years after the construction using Shimatman method. The very first step is to uh, use this formula. But before you use this formula, uh, make sure that uh, you calculate C1 the overburden pressure at the base of the foundation and the total pressure at the base of the foundation given by 200 by divided by the area C1 and then C2 once you have these factors with you you have to solve it in the form of a table but before you solve it in the form of the table just come back here and draw your profile over here just draw a graph by hand or something over here and the width of the foundation is 3 meters so you have to go by up to 12 meter depth okay so maybe 1 meter 1.5 meter and uh, this total is turning out to be 2, 3 and 3 6 meters it's a square footing so we'll go by 2 meter uh, sorry we will go to a depth of total 6 meter because if you recall this previous graph this is just at depth equal to 2 times b so we need to go to this value now this is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 
starting from here this is midway and this is d by 2 so we will reach d by 2 and then we will reach and finish at 2 meter from 2 meters I, I think I have to take it over here now we have got these layers with us so for this portion just determine the i value which will be here the next portion the i value will be somewhere in the middle here here and here so we are going to get these IV values for all these portions in the middle of the layer like this, like this, like this and if you come back to this table you can see that we have got these IZ or IV values for all the layers 4 and 5 so we divided it into 5 layers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 so for all these layers just note down the i v or i z values from this plot this one so the thickness of each layer is all already given to you so all five layers thickness and then depth from base of footing to center of the layer q c values for each layer is given multiply them with 2.5 you can get these e values iz comes from the plot graph you have to plot every time and then their product is given here i z over e s sorry multiplied with delta z thickness of the layer sum them up and use it in the equation over here so this sum comes from the table delta z is given delta p c1 and c2 you have already computed over here okay so just solve this and uh, this is the total settlement that you get at the end ah uh, yeah here is the plot that i was talking about so what the way you are plotting is actually something like this your foundation is somewhere here and uh, yeah this is your plot Is it all right? Now we have given another problem to you in this uh, sixth problem. You can see that QC profile is given to you, and the formula to calculate E is exactly the same. So the number of layers I, I have already numbered them for you to ten. So you have to resolve a similar problem. I mean, you have to follow this problem to solve problem number six. And this way you will be able to understand it very well this problem is also solved to be um, I mean to just let just to let you know you can see that because it, it was actually a strip footing so it is at b by 2 the peak 0.5 and all the layers already marked so just uh, use your ruler and mark these layers if you wish you can make more layers less layers that all depends on you so I leave it to you how many layers are there now just count and just use them and solve the numerical just come up with this table and the solution is also mentioned over here stop the screen and just watch this solution and try to see that whether we are doing it exactly the same way as you can see i times h over e in different books they use different notation so somewhere you will find delta h somewhere you will find delta z somewhere you will find h somewhere you will find h like that so it's one and the same thing this is that right and that's how you will get your final answer so please resolve these problems and i'll try to share uh, an assignment with you thank you so much for your attention these are our references Allah Hafiz.